Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Like a child. Like a child. You know, when we ask Yahuwah for things, when we're believing for things, when we're waiting for things, Sometimes we can get discouraged. Sometimes we can get upset <clears throat> because it's too long in coming or it seems like it's an impossible dream. But we're not talking about asking for things that would bring harm to others. We're just talking about something that our spirit grieves for we wanted so bad. And the word that came to me as I thought about it, the word that came was like a child. Yeshua HaMashiach said, unless you become like these little ones, these children, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. I did a piece some years back talking about the faith of a child. When we become adults, we get used to disappointments and frustrations. And sometimes the worldly disappointments and frustrations, hurts and pains, we paste those mentalities on to even our spiritual hopes and dreams. But he's not like our earthly parents. He's not like our friends. He doesn't disappoint even like we disappoint ourselves. No, he doesn't. And today, beloved, we need a reminder that lest we become like a child, we shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. What is like a child? When your child or a child asks for something of an adult, when that adult says, yes, I'm going to get that or give that to you, that child's faith, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, they may not define it that way. They may not even know the definition, but their faith, their belief in that adult, in that one who says, I'm going to give it to you is so strong that they literally begin to celebrate even when it hasn't even manifested, even when it hasn't been given, but it was promised. And they trust and believe the one telling them the promise is sure so much that they literally get happy in anticipation. They start running around telling their friends, their brothers, their sisters, their classmates, their cousins. Mommy said, daddy said, grandma said, I'm going to get a new bike, whatever they believe in for. And they will start celebrating even when it's nowhere in sight. They literally get happy. You can get them to calm down on certain behaviors that the parent or the caretaker doesn't care for. No, I said, I'm gonna get it for you. However, you can't run around here not cleaning your room. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. And they'll cooperate because they believe. From the moment it's spoken, they believe and receive it with joy. They don't just believe and go into a depression. They believe and get happy. They will even start saying, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you, thank you. The faith of a child. We need a refresh, a season of refreshing to bring that childlike quality back out, that believing beyond what's in front of us. That child will bother, that parent will ask and talk like the old woman when she went to the man who did not honor God nor man when she was seeking justice. And she would not leave that man alone until he said, I'm going to get this woman what she wants before she wear me out. 
that's a child's faith as well. They will ask and ask. They're still happy. And remember what you said? Remember what you said? Beloved, like a child. That thing you're believing, Yahuwah for, according to his exalted word, Yeshua HaMashiach, it's a guarantee. It's got a yes on the package of your hopes and dreams with an amen finishing it as it mails it off to you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. There is that faith activates the atmosphere. It charges the atmosphere. And just like a parent, when the parent has told this child they're going to do something, they will move heaven and earth because they don't want to disappoint that child. And just as the Lord's exalted word said, if a parent knows how to give good gifts, the father in heaven definitely knows how to do it, beloved, like a child. Some of us need to go back. And instead of asking and instantly getting disappointed in our own spirit, instantly remembering disappointments from the worldly aspect, believing what we don't see as being the answer, mm -mm. like a child. Father, remember what you said? I'm still waiting, Father. Anticipating. Thank you, thank you. That's the very first thing a child will do is praise and thanksgiving will flow. They run around the house just as excited as they could be. They are just as excited as they could be. When David was praising Yahuwah, he got so caught up, he danced right out of his tunic. And he was after Yahuwah's heart. Yahuwah loved David. There's a man after my own heart. It was his childlike thanks, his childlike love, his childlike belief that would not falter. Even when his wife McCall was in the window with an attitude, looking at him because he's dancing and she's thinking all the women looking at you, making a fool of yourself. Mm -mm. Like a child, because you may hear naysayers, but don't let those voices prevail. Because just like McCall got curse behind it and she couldn't Yah rendered her barren some of those same people that tried to destroy your childlike faith may come up barren yes yes beloved some of their hopes and dreams may end up barren because they wanted to discourage your praise and worship your thanksgiving your faith in the almighty Yahuwah your belief and profession in his exalted word, your truth in the anointed and glorious Holy Ruach. Yes, yes, like a child. And Yahuwah did not disappoint David. Like a child, beloved. Whatever that thing is you're hoping for, whatever that thing is you're praying for, instead of thinking of mortal hands and mortal minds, and all those discouraging words like McCall did to David or Panina did to Hannah when she was praying for a child. Instead of those discouragers, keep on thinking. Keep on believing. And watch the miracle, beloved. There are blessings that Yahuwah is releasing in your life. And you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that blessing came from Yahuwah because the world said no. All the things you saw said no. There ain't no money for it. You know they tried this time, that time, another time. It never worked. I don't know why you run around thinking it's going to work because I did not ask. Man. Ask my father. He owns everything you see. There's nothing that's created. 
that was not created through his anointed and exalted word. And when he says, his words don't fall to the ground. He's not a man that he should not. Like a child, beloved. And wait for it. There's a blessing. There's a miracle coming with your name on it. That package is wrapped in faith. And it is anointed by the spirit of Yahweh. And his word carried it all the way to you. Believe me, like a child. His word is going to deliver it like the perfect mailman. It never falters. It never wavers. Earth and sea may disappear, but his word will last forever. Like a child. It is the Shabbat, beloved. Be encouraged. And that thing that you ask, not intending to bring harm to anyone, but to enrich your life and the lives of others. Watch y'all open up those windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing. After all those years of drought, watch the rains come. And your harvest is going to be plenty. It is word, beloved. Shabbat shalom.